Hello to our friends at HEB uh, from Carlton, Oregon. Beautiful little hamlet of 2,000 people. We're southwest of Portland, about 40 miles and uh, about 30 miles from the Pacific Ocean. Very, very cold body of water. Uh, this is Ken Wright you know, from Ken Wright Cellars. So that those conditions of being 30 miles from a very cold body of water and being this far north, we're essentially at the 45th parallel. Um, that means we're halfway from the equator to the North Pole. That's pretty far north, uh, which inherently, so you have some basic conditions of where we exist that contribute to a very cool climate. Perfect for Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir needs a cool climate. It needs a place where the brakes are put on the, on the plant. In a warm climate, it accelerates too quickly. It is the earliest ripening variety of all wine varieties. And so when it's placed in a hot area, it races and it doesn't have the requisite time on the vine to create complex aroma and flavor. It simply becomes a smash mouth, hammer-like wine uh, without the detail and grace of what makes Pinot Noir really fantastic. So again, we're here in the northern part of the Willamette Valley. Oh, it, this is a very tiny part of the overall Willamette Valley, which really extends all the way from Portland, at the very north of the state, to the middle of the state, where Eugene is. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a massive valley, but the world-class part of it is quite tiny, and it really represents maybe 5%. Um, and that's represented by the six sub-ABAs that were created beginning in 95. Um, and then we're finished by about 2005. Uh, and this is where we are in the heart of it. Right now, we're actually in the middle of Yanhel Carlton. Uh, that's where we reside, uh, where the winery resides. And, um, and so this wine, which is our Willamette Valley bottle, uh, is, a, is a blend of the various regions, those sub-ABAs that I mentioned. Essentially, there are parts and pieces of each of those sub-ABAs in this wine, blended to it. And so it's a representation of the entire area, not a single vineyard or even a single AV. Um, and so it, it has all those qualities that people generally know of. Uh, it was long, you know, long, not long ago, actually, um, no one did single vineyard and uh, no one did AVA based wines. It was all blends. And so this is kind of harkening back to the days when uh, you had those blends that represented the entire region. What's typical of this, this area is incredibly fresh fruit, whether it's red fruit or blue fruit or black fruit, it's super fresh, perfectly ripe, not unripe, not overripe. That's really the hallmark of our region. Um, and that's represented in this bottle. In addition, um, we are choosing lots to go into this wine that we feel are super fresh, um, very drinkable, um, that will not require um, a lot of aging, so not a lot of structure necessarily, very openly textured and enjoyable right off the bat. Um, this is what we, this is what we're attempting to do, is create something that you can pour in a glass and the moments are released and it'll provide pleasure. And that's what this is all about. Um, this is our new label. We had a fairly simple text only label for many years. Um, very simple and um, very nice looking, but not particularly memorable. This one is a depiction of the local wildlife, uh, flora and fauna. You've got flowers, uh, birds, insects, other plant life represent that we see in our area all the time. These are, these are, these are species we see um, in our region all the time. Um, and this is, this is artwork done by a local artist, David Bertham. And, actually, and in fact, the original work is 100% uh, beeswax. It's, this is actually a photograph of an original work he did. But the original work is stunning. Um, so this is, this is what you have for, the, for our new label. Um, we are using Noma cork for our closure. We do not use cork. Cork is very untrustworthy. We haven't used cork since 2000. Um, 20 years, we have not used cork. Cork, uh, not only is, it, is taint an issue, taint's one of the, it, it, it is one of the, one of the issues, obviously, main issues, but scalping is the biggest issue by far, which is the removal of aroma and flavor by cork. Uh, that's fully 8 to 12% of all wine. Um, and that's, that's a real problem with cork. 
Um, and also we prefer a closure that is uh, completely biodegradable, which this is. This is completely made of sugar cane, 100% sugar cane. It actually has a negative carbon footprint, completely recyclable. Uh, we do put our artwork on the end uh, so that um, people can see it because we are not using a capsule. Okay, so when uh, this bottle will come in the, with the artwork showing, uh, no capsule because again we are environmentally, uh, we don't feel good about capsules. Uh, they are a metal, uh, a metal that produces, uh, that too often goes into a landfill and never makes its way out. Uh, we prefer not to to offer a product where that is we know that that's going to happen over 90 percent of the time and so no capsule whatsoever there's no need for it um, so this is a this is a, our our 2018 uh, willamette valley and we're really excited about getting into texas